Welcome to the Nutrigenomic Nation podcast with Brian Highfield, certified nutritionist, author, speaker, and founder of multiple successful companies in the health world. Brian is known for educating healthcare professionals and others on improving their health and their life through breakthroughs in nutrition, technology, and biochemistry. On the podcast, Brian interviews thought leaders in the world of nutrition and natural health. He and his guests share the secrets of a whole life natural approach to health and the life-altering results you can get by making easy changes to your diet and daily routine. All right, welcome to another episode of Nutrigenomic Nation. I'm your host, Brian Highfield, and with us today, we have another special guest. We have Dr. Todd Goldman, who's uh, out of Medford, New York, and he uh, is a chiropractor and owns t- uh, Total Chiropractic Care. So welcome to the, to the program, Dr. Todd. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you uh, inviting me. So um, well, first thing we want to know is I always want to get our audience to know the guests a little bit. So can you tell us a little bit, Dr. Goldman, about what made you want to become a chiropractor? My father is a retired chiropractor. Now, He didn't mention it to me. He didn't try to get me into the field. But what happened, um, I was going to business school in Arizona State. And I would come home, visit my parents. I took it for granted as far as chiropractic is concerned because I I was getting adjusted since I was a little kid. And I sort of thought everyone was doing that. And then I, you know, I was in school. I I haven't, I haven't gotten adjusted for months. I was in pain and I went to my dad's office on one of the breaks and I realized how really loved he was or still is. But I started thinking about it. And I'm like, you know, dad, I'm here for two weeks. Can I hang out with you in the office and watch what you do? And so I did. And as soon as those two weeks were up, I applied to chiropractic school. I got in early. In fact, I was the one of the youngest students in the class, and I was lucky to get in early, and uh, that, and then that was it. So now I've been a chiropractor for 26 years, and uh, I love it. It's I absolutely love it. Yeah, you know, I had other opportunities where I can sell the office and and do very well with that, and I refuse to do that. Yeah, because it's it's great. It's 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 a hobby. It's it's everything. So what, what are some of the more rewarding aspects of, of being a chiropractor? You know, to be able to help someone with your hands. It, 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 it's, un, it, it's unbelievable. I mean, to be, you, you can give someone Medicaid. And now in my office, I have NDs in my office. I own the office, but I have orthopedic surgeons, neurologists, this. But to be able to help someone with your hands is, is a gift. I mean, it, it, it truly is. And so that's... to for me, the, the most rewarding. So what are, what are some of the, the services that people are seeking you out for? I mean, what are their conditions and, and why, are they, why are they looking for help from you? It's, it's the typical neck and low back pain, but also we take care of kids with uh, colicky babies. Um, we don't adjust adults, the way, babies, the way we do with adults. So I just want to put that out there but there's, there's a number of different con- conditions in fact with ear infections with kids that's the to, that has the highest highest success rate out of anything that we do so the, the headaches migraine headaches uh the, i mean there's so many things that we take me numbness and tingling in the feet so across the board we get yeah. uh, patients with different types of ailments so I, I noticed that you also, besides doing adjustments um, and helping people with, with just back and neck pain, I mean, you also talk a lot about nutrition and lifestyle. I mean, what, what are some of the things that, that can impact our health from a lifestyle perspective? The problem is most people are overweight. And, and so I'll go through healthy eating if the patients would like. It, it, it's something that I don't charge extra for. Um, I'm a nutritionist and it, it, it's just part of what we do because you're overweight. One thing is you're putting extra stress on your body, on your joints, on your spine, likelihood of developing arthritis increases, likelihood of injuries increase. 
And then on top of that, then you're, you know, heart disease and diabetes and those types of ailments. So, you know, it is very, very important to watch what you eat and watch your diet. And it shouldn't even, people shouldn't have to go on a diet. It should be a lifestyle change because diets come and go and fads come and go. It should be an overall lifestyle change that should stick with you for the rest of your life. So it's, it's super, super important. Again, you know, I don't try to shove it down their throats because some people just don't care. But, you know, I do make it a point to let them know that nutrition is very, very important um, for uh, as far as longevity, as far as life. And what's some, what's some of the advice you give people? I mean, we're, we live in the U.S., probably one of the unhealthiest countries out there, um, ranks right up there with uh, near the top with obesity. Uh, what, what is some of the general nutritional advice that, that you give to patients, those that are willing to listen anyway? The, the main thing is I don't, I don't get crazy because I know that the, the more detailed I get, the less likely of people listening to me. But uh, the main thing is uh, watch the carbs, watch the simple carbs, white flour, sugar, uh, the drink a lot of water, drink a, at least six glasses a day, at least six glasses a day, very important. Your body is mostly made up of water and most people are dehydrated. They're not drinking enough water. And, and they think that because they're having coffee that they're adding water to their system, but coffee is a diuretic. So you're, it's eliminating more water out of the body. Uh, we, we, we go with uh, a lot of, as far as overeating, you know, even with, if you want to eat like garbage, at least just try to watch how much you're eating. And it, it, we, it actually worked pretty well with some patients that I knew that were not going to change overall their lifestyle as far as what they eat. But at least they're trying to watch how much they eat. And a lot of times drink, drinking water will fill you up. And that's really it. I mean, we, we tend to do the basics in the office. I used to do, I used to have another office with my father. And we used to really, really go over nutrition. Um, we used to have vitamins and, and minimal, minerals and, and that sort of thing. I tried it in this office. It didn't work out too well. Uh, so, but you know, I, it, it, again, nutrition is super, super important and we try to stress it. Great. So, um, I mean, you were talking about portion control, you're talking about, you know, so a lot of people don't want to change what they eat, but portion control is, is really almost important as, as what you eat, right? Yeah. I mean, and, and again, I've seen people lose a tremendous amount of weight with portion control. Even, even some of the girls in the office, they, they, they would they ask for help and and i told them i said all right the next time you order food let me know and so it was chinese food and i said all right here this is what we're going to do this is your plate take don't take from the main tray take some out put it on the plate put the main tray back in the fridge and you can have it another day and so it really, really helped. It really, really helped them out. And, and, and again, the portion control, and like you said, I mean, the portion control is just, it helps out just as much as just watching what you eat. I mean, obviously you should watch what you eat, but, but if, if, you, if you can, I think the portion control is really, uh, really important. Yeah, because that way they're not getting thousands and thousands of unnecessary calories. And you mentioned carbs earlier, cutting out those carbs that could really... Uh, contribute to that obesity. So any other nutritional advice that, that uh, you like to give? Uh, you know, I mean, we, we do, um, if people are really into it, we do blood tests. Um, to start, find out what vitamins and minerals you're deficient in. Uh, you know, that's, and that's really it. It's not, there's, there's, again, in my office, we try to do it simple. Now I do have patients that are more involved in, and I'll send them to a nutritionist who specializes in certain things. Certain, I have a nutritionist that specializes in certain diseases. So uh, diabetics, for instance, mm -hmm. um, some patients with cancer. So I, I'll send, send them to, to, to her where she can really, I don't have the time to do it, but she can really go into it with them. 
and 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 with her, I mean, she's, she really works out well. Great. Let's talk about chiropractic a little bit. I mean, you, you were you said you were born in a family. Your your father was a chiropractor, and you just thought that was a normal doctor that that you visit. And I've interviewed other chiropractors who initially thought that chiropractors weren't real doctors um, until they really learned and understood the profession and became one themselves. Um, so what's, you know, what, what, what have, some of your newer patients, maybe they haven't visited a chiropractor in the first time, what can they expect when they come in for a visit? Well, I'll, we'll do a consultation, an examination. Uh, I'll explain what I'm doing. You know, chiropractic, as far as chiropractic, uh, there's 24 movable verte vertebrae in the body. They move by joints. The joints, in between the joints, there are nerves. And sometimes the joints don't move the way they should. And when that happens, you can have an irritated nerve or a pinched nerve. And whatever connect is connected to that nerve, it's not going to function properly. Whether it be um, a sensation type of uh, symptom, numbness and tingling, whether it be just pain, or whether it be a combination of, of, of everything else, you know? So on top of that, on, on top of that, sorry about that, I'm, I thought this was shut up, but on top of that, um, it's, it's, it's patients who have serious, uh, serious health issues related to carb, it, it's, a, it's called a subluxation. And we have patients that have organ issues related to a spinal subluxation. Um, so there's a number of things that can happen as far as with uh, a joint that's not moving the way it should. So outside of like a car accident, you know, um, how, how is, what should people, people be paying attention to when it comes to like their, their posture or how they sit or how, even how they sleep? How can that uh, impact our, our spine and maybe cause some misalignments down the road? Well, if if you're not if you don't have the proper so let's take let's take uh, as far as posture sitting, you know, especially now, I, I see a lot of patients that it hurt themselves because they're sitting because everyone's going on Zoom. Mm -hmm. So I see I see a lot of uh, patients who injure themselves because they're sitting in the wrong chairs. You know, I, t I tell them, if you're using a computer, make sure that the monitor is eye level. Make sure it's in front of you. Uh, you have good support. Have a great chair. You know, invest in the great chair. Because if you don't invest in a, a great chair, and, and, and some chairs might be good for one person, but might not be good for another. So I remember there was a chair that I had uh, that I, I thought was a really good chair. And then I realized um, you, you couldn't, the, the height was off. And since the height was off, it, it was throwing everything off. Basically, it threw my sp spine out of whack. So, you know, it, it, there's a number of things you can do as far as a chair. Make sure that it goes up and down. Um, make sure that it has ergonomically designed back support. And uh, you can find a really good chair for a really good prices also. We, we go over with patients, different chairs and, and that sort of thing, as well as mattresses. It's important to get a good mattress. Uh, mattress should not be typically, depending on what kind of mattress it is, mattress it is because the sleep number bed lasts longer than the, the typical mattress. But you want it about seven years is, is, is the typical. And, it, you know, it, it's, it's a problem because sometimes because you, you're investing a lot of money and you want to make sure that it, it's good for you. But it, it, again, having a good mattress is, is very, very important. Pillow that's, that's ergonomically designed. So I tell patients, let's say you're laying on your back, you don't want a pillow that's too high or too big or multiple pillows where your neck is in flexion like this. Yeah. You want your head in a neutral position. Same thing if you're on your side. If you're on your side, you don't sleep with a pillow. So let's say you're sleeping on your left side. You're not sleeping with a pillow. Your head's going to be like this. You're creating a lot of stress in your neck and your and your spine. You want your head to be level. Same thing if you sleep with too many pillows. Your head's going to be like that. That's not that's not good either. So we go over some basic things. One one big thing that I see with men 
They have a lot of pelvic issues, lower, lower, lower back complaints. And I find that they have their wallets in their back pocket. And not really too much of a big deal when you sit, I mean, when you stand, but once you sit and you have a wallet in your back pocket, there's constant stress on the, on, on the spine. Yeah, I, th I think of I think of George Costanza, you know, on Seinfeld, and he's got that exactly. huge wallet on yeah. one side, and they know. noticed he was sitting crooked. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the visual in my head. I know. I, it, I had a patient the other day that, that actually it was a couple of months ago, and, and he and he, he said, "I said, do you put a wallet in your back pocket?" And he said, "No, I never do." But you could see the imprint of the wallet. <laughs> Like, all right, you know. <laughs> well, if you do, don't pull it in your back pocket. So, yeah. what about um, what about your car seat? Because I find myself, I always catch myself like if I'm driving, like I'm I'm my sunken down, my head's kind of facing down a little bit, and I catch myself and have to straighten my back and look up a little bit. I mean, how uh, what what do people really need to pay attention to when they're driving, especially if they're in hours of traffic? Well, you know what? I'm not a good example of that because I tend to lean my seat back too far. Uh -huh. So, so it, it and really, it, it, that's not a good idea. It should be more. It sh it shouldn't be necessarily 90 degrees because that might be kind of uncomfortable. But at least 70 degrees, something like that. You don't want. You want to have good support. If if you do it the way I do it, then you're not using because my car has a great ergonomically designed seat. But unfortunately, I don't use it. Have sit, sit all the way back. You want your, um, and, and very, very important, this is really important for uh, the headrest. If you have um, movable headrests, have it at sort of the back of your head, in the middle of the back of your head. Don't, uh, there, there are some that have it too low. I think some people, have kids and they want to be able to see their mm -hmm. kids. So, but what happens is if, if it's too low, it act, if you're in an accident, it acts like a fulcrum and it, it's the injuries, the whiplash injuries are really, really horrible with that, with, with, with that sort of thing. And then also don't have it too high because sometimes it's too high and there's a space in, in, in the middle and your head is sort of at that space. And that's, it's not that good. And that's not, that's not good either. Yeah. So don't yell at the kids and uh, misbehave in the back and say, you're going to turn this car around right now, you know, looking exactly. around without your proper headrest. Yeah. So that's, that's great. Is there, is there some like everyday exercises people could do to just help with the alignment and just keeping everything kind of, kind of moving properly? You, you know, when I, I, I used to give sheets of exercises, but I found, I find that people are going to lose it and and or they just really don't do it and so now what i have i i tell patients to you know you can get apps so there's uh there's yoga apps that i recommend there's pilates apps that that, that are great and that's what i because i think what happens is once you have a, a um a set schedule once you have some sort of real involvement I think people tend to keep with it a lot, a lot more. If I give you, here, here's some stretches. All right, if there's not much involvement, but once someone's teaching you, you know, it, or when you're following along, mm -hmm. I think it's great. There's one, there's a, a man, man flow yoga. And uh, men don't uh, typically like to do yoga. I mean, I do it, but there, there's one, that's a great, he has a great, great app. That, uh, that that I recommend to people. Good stuff. Uh, and yeah, really good stuff. Um, last question for you is: How can people get a hold of you if they if they want to schedule an appointment or get in touch with you some way? They could they could go online, um, and I can answer that totalchiro.com, or they can call my office. Uh, uh, my office number is six three one four four seven two two nine nine. However, they want to do it. If they feel more comfortable going online, ask. You can ask me questions. You can make an appointment. You can make an appointment. You can make a phone uh, schedule a phone call with me, and we can go over. You know, maybe you don't know if chiropractic can help you, and we could try to figure it out over the phone. Uh, we can do that. There's a number of different things. Awesome! Great stuff. 
Well, thank you, Dr. Goldman. So our guest today has been Dr. Todd Goldman, who is a chiropractor and the uh, owner and founder of uh, Total Chiropractic Care out of Medford, New York. So I hope everyone enjoyed our conversation today, and we hope you join us next time when we talk about another topic related to your good health. So thank you so much for listening, and thank you again, Dr. Goldman. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.